All right, so this is this is day one in an 11th grade mythology class. Um, so the essential question for the day is going to be, what are myths, legends, and fairy tales, and why do we even care? Right, you're all here in a mythology class, but why? Why should you be? Why do you care? Um, so <clears throat> I put together this little graphic organizer that I'll hand out to everybody to just give you a basic understanding of what they are and to show you that you kind of are that. So we're going to read through <coughs> each of these. Um, so I'll read the first one and kind of tell you how it's going to go, and then I'm going to ask each of you to read something else. Which oh, I this read. side, the little organizer. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll just start with myths. Myths are stories that give reasons for events. Why did this happen? You know, why did why was there a huge earthquake in China a couple years ago? You know, 100 years from now, maybe there's a myth. Um, some myths explain natural events, such as rainbows or seasons, and others explain how the world began. Myths are about people and gods, and explain why people do what they do. They all provide lessons about good and bad behavior. So all myths provide good and bad behavior. So um, myths that we're probably familiar with are like creation myths, right? There's, there's chaos in the Greek creation myth, and everything sprung out of chaos, right? Um, our, our society, Western society, is based off of the seven-day creation myth of Christianity. You know, a lot of times we don't realize that's a myth, but it is. Uh, so that's that's myths. Um, so legends, Casey, if you don't mind reading that yeah. for me. Um, a legend combines a real event or a real person's unusual life story with the exaggeration and heroic actions. So stuff like King Arthur, Robin Hood, God Jesus, Fountain of Youth. Can you think of any? Um, other legends that aren't listed there. Arthur, Robin Hood, and he took his. So, um, um, what is it? Gold, South America. Uh, Midas, is that what you're talking about? Well, Africa Midas Gold? is good too, but no, I'm thinking about they have a Disney movie and oh, they go. Oh, Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that first movie. Um, no, no, no. Kind of deal like, yeah, it's. it's Treasure be, Planet? That's what I'm thinking. No, no, it's like a gold. Um, oh, God. Aladdin? No, like, no, it's, um, I, I would have to Google it. Okay. I can't think of it. If you can't think of one, that's just fine. That's why we're here. We're trying to figure out what they are. Okay? Kelsey, would you mind reading what fables are for us? Yes. They have talking animals. They teach us lessons. They teach a lesson or they have a moral. They're usually short. They're very short list of characters. And some are the ant and the grasshopper, the blue cried wolf, the Woodman and the Serpent, Think Aesop's Fables. Okay. Did you think of what your legend was? El Dorado. El Dorado. Uh, okay. Uh, the legend of El Dorado. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, Kelsey. So the ant and the grasshopper. Aesop's Fable. There's a movie from Pixar called Ants. It tells the same mm. story. Right? Can you think of any other fables? Um, Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood. Exactly. Um, okay, we'll move on to folk tales. Delicia, if you wouldn't mind reading that short little thing there. Yeah. A folk tale is a story that has been told for a long time by a group of people. St. Nicholas and his companions, Leprechauns, Johnny Appleseed, Paul Bunyan, etc. Uh, right? Yeah. Can you think of any other folk tales that you know? Um, like I know a German one with St. Nicholas. Mm -hmm. There is an elf that was kids that they're not good. Okay, yeah. St. Nicholas is, and his companions. A lot of people don't know about this Krampus dude. Krampus, yeah. Yeah, he's he's an evil elf that beats the bad kids, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. He but, beats them through the street, and yeah. people actually dress up for yep, it. Yep, and in oh, some versions, see. Krampus eats you if you're bad. Yeah. So <laughs> we we cut that piece out <laughs> in our folklore, but, but yeah. I think it's awesome. That's the best way to keep kids quiet. Yeah. 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 Then you get presents or you get eaten. Like, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So, um, and they've been told forever, right? Saint Nicholas is based on a real person who lived a long time ago, and we still tell the stories. Um, I'll take up fairy tales again because we have an extra, but fairy tales are always make-believe, and they always happen a long, long time ago. They involve magic, they always start with once upon a time, and they always end with happily ever after. Um, and it's always a story of good versus evil. So uh, Disney loves fairy tales, right? It, it works great in their model. Um, they have Sleeping Beauty, they have Aladdin, there's ones I don't know that they've done. Rumpelstiltskin, yes. Can I ask a question about Grimm's fairy tales? 
Grimm's fairy tales still pit good versus evil. It's always once upon a time and a happily ever after in Grimm's fairy tales just maybe it's not always written in there. You know, but Disney writes it in there, so they fix it, right? So um, yeah, so that's the difference. Now, what we're gonna do, so now we've kind of done, I've explained that there is a difference. Now we've talked about what the differences are. Now on your own, I want you to read this really short story and decide for yourself whether it's a myth, legend, folk tale, fairy tale, or a fable. Okay? So it's creepy. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's about monsters mm -hmm. and coming back and bugging their moms. So read it to yourself and then I'll probably four minutes, five minutes, we'll come back to you and talk about it. Okay, so I bought her the story. I tried to find one that nobody would know. So it's kind of obscure, kind of creepy, right? Mm -hmm. um, so I want to ask all three of you, and there's at this point not a right answer. I just want to know kind of what you think, reviewing the front of it. Um, maybe I'll start with Alicia and have you tell me just your, your initial instinct. What do you think this story is? Initially, I think it was a fable. Okay. Because it's so short. And it's got the short list of characters. And it kind of has a lesson. Mm -hmm. Okay. Short characters and a lesson. Okay. Um, Kelsey, can you think, what do you initially think? I actually think it's a legend. Okay. Because it combines a real event um, or a real person with an unusual a life story with exaggerated and heroic actions. Not okay. necessarily, yeah, you could say you have to say heroic. Okay, um, unusual story. And then exaggerated actions, I guess you'd say. Okay, and exaggerations. That's two G's, right? Yep. Nice. Okay, Casey, what do you think it is? Um, I think. Initially, uh, it could be a fable, okay. but if you want me to be different, I could say a folk tale as well, because, because I can see this being told and manipulated over a long period of time to fit okay. into um, society, mm -hmm. into current society, I guess. Okay. Okay. So, this this is kind of important, I think, for me a little bit different that actually helps with the lesson. So, 
in society, in movies, in, in literature, a lot of times these things are all just lumped into something. Like, oh, it's not real, so we're just going to call it a legend or a myth, and we don't really distinguish between the two. For the purposes of this class, we will make very clear distinctions between the two based on some of the things that we've put on here, right? So, for example, um, myth always gives a reason for an event. It explains something. Nobody said myth, right? There was no huge earthquake. There was no tidal wave. But if it were to say that the baby monster was, you know, huge, 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 10 million pounds when she threw it over the bridge and it was a tsunami, then it could be a myth, right? Because that would explain the tsunami. It was the mother monster throwing the baby over the bridge that caused it, okay? Can I please still say it's a myth though? There's a big reason for why mothers let their kids watch. Okay. It, that's not saying they are. They, they do have similarities, mm -hmm. but this um, it doesn't explain a natural event at all. And myths do. If you think of the think of classic myths, Greek myths, right? Um, there's the myth of the god Zeus, right? And it explains lightning. He's throwing lightning bolts. You think of thunder. It's it's the hammer of Hephaestus on his anvil, right? It's always mm -hmm. explaining a natural event. And this is explaining something, but it's not a natural event. Okay. There are no gods involved. There's no supreme power and distinction. So it's, nobody said myth, and I think you're right. Um, legends again, yeah, it combines real events, there's an unusual story, and it's exaggerated, right? I can see all of the elements that you have here in this story, but think of uh, the legend of King Arthur, um, any of those legends, there's a whole bunch of Arthurian legends, and kind of compare that to this story, and do you, do you still see context there that it, you feel like they're very similar. Robin Hood, mm -hmm. does this feel like a Robin Hood type story? No. no, and it's not really because the real events in this story are only real as far as the author makes them, right? If, if you look back King Arthur's time, there was a man that lived that the King Arthur legends are based on, and he had a revolutionary idea of equality in his kingdom. So. King Arthur is based on a real event that can be traced back to history, or this one can't really. Um, so, it ties in with legend. There are a lot of similar elements, but I would say this is not a legend. We didn't call it a fairy tale. Why? No one's upon time. There's no happily ever after. No one's upon time, no happily ever after. Was there a good versus evil? You could stretch it, say maybe Mama Monster was good, but was she really good? She killed her baby. No, no she wasn't. So, I would say you were all right, it's not a fairy tale. Folk tale, okay, happened a long, long time ago. It says that explicitly, you know, a terrible story of a mother's love for a baby, blah, 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 back when the world was wild. Long time ago, but has it been retold for a long period of time? We don't know that. This is probably the first time you guys have ever encountered it, so I would say no, it's not a folk tale. So, going, all of you initially lend toward fable, and I think you're right. And the reason that it's a fable is exactly this is really short, super short. That's the whole story and it fits on one page. Character list, mom monster, baby monster. Okay, um, it teaches a lesson, right? You should, <laughs> you should let your kids watch TV because then they won't be moving the crap out of you. Whether you agree with the lesson or not is totally different, but think of Aesop's face as the boy who cried wolf. There's a boy, there's a wolf, there are town people who should and cried wolf, right? So same kind of thing, so yeah, this was a fable, I agree with you guys, I think you all did well. So, we're going to launch into this mythology class with a clear distinction between these. And we're going we're gonna to investigate each one of these, you know, in its own frame. So when I talk about a legend, I want you guys to automatically associate that with something that has a historical base, but has been exaggerated. If I talk about a myth, I want you guys to automatically think, oh, this explains a natural phenomenon like a tornado, okay? If I talk about a fable, short story gives a moral lesson kind of deal. So, as we talk about these things, and I'm going to be making distinction, distinctions, I want you guys to understand that really well. So, are there any questions? You guys feel like you can probably understand this pretty well? All right. Um, when you come back, we're actually going to start looking at the uh, Arthurian legends. We're going to read Gawain and the Green Knight next time and talk about why that's a legend to refresh us and then compare a bunch of different legends together to just solidify that. So, thanks for coming.